Casting their ballots today, Tulsa County voters passed two propositions. The county can now expand the county jail and build a new center for juveniles. Joe Hinkie is live downtown to break down today's vote. Joe. Well, Russ, after today's election, the county jail behind me will soon be under construction, while the county's juvenile courts and detention center, those will soon have a new home. At the polls today, Tulsa County voters decided on two propositions. Proposition 1, a 15-year sales tax to build a new juvenile courts and detention center. Tulsa County commissioners say the current juvenile center is too small and falling apart. Proposition 2, a 15-year sales tax to repair and expand the current county jail. Commissioners say David L. Moss Criminal Justice Center is overcrowded and inadequate for inmates with mental health problems. Beginning with early voting, turnout for this election started slow, and the low turnout carried into today. We've had a very light turnout. Uh, we were projecting... Um, close to 20 percent, and we'll be lucky if we get half that many. Tulsa County's election workers say a lot of factors can impact turnout, including voter interest in the ballot items and advertising. Turnout aside, the voters casting ballots approved both propositions. I'm thrilled that the taxpayers of Tulsa County recognized the need for both the jail and the juvenile facility. And construction at the jail and on the new detention center should begin soon. We have the design ready to add pods to the jail. Uh, we need to find a location for the juvenile facility, a juvenile court in a detention area. And right now with 97 precincts reporting uh, their vote uh, results for today, both propositions are passing by more than 30 percent. Voter turnout, you heard there, was low within the last few minutes. I just got from election workers that voter turnout right now, 10 percent by Tulsa County voters. Reporting live near downtown Tulsa, Joe Henke, 2 News works for you. All right, Joe, thanks. And you can find the rest of today's election results on our website, kjrh.com.